schedule to announce the next fight. Ladies and gentlemen, on now to our feature fight of the evening. Please welcome, making his way to the blue corner, Kendon Smallwood. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Kendon Smallwood on the way to the cage. Fighting out of Jonesboro, Arkansas, out of the Warriors Academy gym. Jordan Fowler, his head coach, fighting in the main event this evening against El Natural, Adam Selma. It's nice, we got talent in from Kansas City, from Arkansas, from Chicago, and St. Louis. Absolutely, Nemesis Fighting Alliance doing everything they can to uh, scratch the resources across the nation to uh, bring in talent for some of the top guys here in St. Louis. People are looking for opportunity, man, and St. Louis has it within the NFA. You know, as, as we've stated over and over, fights few and far between between the strange times here in uh, 2020. Nimbus's Fighting Alliance lucky to put on three shows here, uh, being able to showcase the talents of all these fighters across the globe. Yeah, you can definitely see a difference from the first one back to this one, because the first one was a little more it was a little bit rougher to get there. We didn't know what all obstacles were in the way, and it got done. And this one here, man, look at this crowd. It's nice. A absolutely. Last, last show, having to move our venue 100 miles. And now his opponent show. making his way to the cage, Tavon Taylor. Tavon the Panther Taylor looking to defend his 205-pound title here for Nemesis Fighting Alliance. And this guy is always walking around with a smile on his face. Absolutely. He's never, just loving it. Ne never seen somebody so happy to step in the cage and cross somebody who's trying to hurt him. No, not at all. He's, he's there to have fun, man. He just, he's still learning, too. He's still got, he's got so much potential. Yeah, ob obviously, you know, from his body structure and, you know, the, the performance he's, he's put on before, you can tell. He's just a thoroughbred athlete. Yeah, I stood and next to him and I was like, I didn't realize he was that tall. <laughs> and now, you know, seeing him grow, not only as a fighter, but as a true legitimate mixed martial artist under the tutelage of Johan Slager. Um, I mean, Devon Taylor, Gold Gloves boxing champion, Nemesis Fighting Alliance, 205 pound champion. I mean, this is a guy you're clearly gonna see succeed at the highest level of mixed martial arts. Um, he might not be the most well-rounded when it comes to his grappling or being able to actually chain the mixed martial arts together, but you can tell the ceiling on someone like this is just astronomical. Well, and that's what this is all Ladies about. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three three-minute rounds for the NFA Light Heavyweight Championship. It is brought to you tonight by Brad Carey Realtor. Introducing first, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner. This boxer stands five foot ten, weighed in 203 pounds. He holds an amateur record, eight wins, three defeats. Representing Warrior Jim and fighting out of Jonesboro, Arkansas, Kendon the Recluse Smallwood. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Is a fight systems fighter, standing six foot three, weighed in 198.6 pounds. He holds an amateur record, five wins, one defeat. Representing Flagger Fight Systems and fighting out of O'Fallon, Illinois, he is the reigning defending NFA light heavyweight champion, Tavon Delpanta Taylor. Your referee in charge of the action, the Dwayne Bess. This right, one will start with a bang of saying like any of Tavon's other fights. All times. Obey my commands. You got questions? Touch go if you want to. Let's get it. Yeah, Tavon looking for the finish early and often as always. Let's see if he uh, sticks to that strat strategy. Even after winning that last fight, he wanted back in immediately. He fought on the last show. This kid's wanting to get work. Yeah, he came up to me after the last fight card and said, I'm still good. Oh. Ooh, big left hand from Kendon Smallwood. Oh. Ends up in mount.
Tavon needs to try to buck him off of him. He's just laying on flat on his back. That's not going to do anything to change this. Yeah, Kim Don doing a great job of isolating that left elbow of Tavon Taylor. Looking for Try that. Looking at Americana. Tavon doing a great job of answering the phone there. And Tavon needs the bump. There you go. Yeah, being as strong and as athletic as Tavon is, you know, a lot of guys on bottom aren't typically shoulder pushers, but I think Tavon's got that athleticism and the strength to do that to something like Kim Don Smallwood. I'd like to see a little more movement out of Tavon, but what he is doing is staying calm. If he were to freak out here and, and blow his wad just doing all this scrambling he could do without even getting a knee through, then he would just tire himself out. Yeah, you know, Kim Don, I mean, Kim Don doing a great job isolating that, that left elbow with Tavon, landing shots on the way in, but you know, he's a little high. I'd, I'd like to see him take that right arm, hook the elbow, and start to finger walk it up. That way he can get the arm over it, over his head and maybe work more dominant position. Crowd yelling, stand him just up. Just heavy I see chest pressure. Crowd pressure here. Yeah, this should, if you can't get up, you can't get up. That's a sore spot for me. Keeping that chest pressure there. He knows if he postures up and starts throwing just unwarranted punches, Tavon can get out. Especially being as athletic and ex explosive as Tavon is. As soon as Kim Don raises his hip, his hip pressure, I think Tavon's out. He's doing a great job of isolating the head, raining down, raining down small punches. It's not the most crowd-pleasing, but it is smart strategy. Yeah, a W's a W at the end of the day, regardless of how the crowd reacts. There he goes. That underhook with the right arm. Let's see if he can switch his oh, hips to the half. There he block. goes. Gave up his back. Ten, Ten seconds, seconds left. left. Well, definitely lost the round, but he didn't waste a bunch of energy there either. Right. Obviously, more energy exerted uh, from. On uh, now to round number two in this amateur he light heavyweight championship bout. He up top Once he again, this is brought to you by moment. Brad Carey Realtor. There, Are you looking for a home on apps like Zillow and Truilla? And he is going to be out. And tired of getting outdated information? Well, call Brad. To find out how you can get an app to search for homes that has up-to-date information for sale. So it would be like searching had, as if you were an agent. Over, Free to tired, you. Call Brad at 314-378-6939. He's picking his shots a little bit more, not coming out with a flying kick, which partially landed, by the way, so it wasn't ineffective. But if he can come out and selectively pick his shots and know that the shot is coming, we can see a, a lot more of Tavon's offense this round. Yeah, Tavon Taylor primi primarily the offensive juggernaut was stifled by the grappling of Ken Don Sm Smallwood there. Nice stiff jab from Tavon Taylor. Mouth there goes the mouthpiece. That's unfortunate for Tavon there. Mouthpiece gets replaced right in the middle when he was trying to find some, some striking volume there. Turn it sideways, here comes something. Side kick, something, yep. Oh, big side kick caught by Ken Down Small. Just explosive. You see, when he doesn't get in a big hurry, he can land these things and they hurt. Yeah, very Michael Venom Page, John Jones-esque out of Ken Down, I mean, out of uh, Tomato. Oh, big oh, right big hand! Hit. Drops Tavon Taylor and puts him out of his misery. Oh my God. Oh wow. Tavon Taylor still on Queer Street. Wow. Kendon Small Smallwood with a big overhand right. 
puts Tavon Taylor down and out for the count. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a new 205 pound champion to the Nemesis Fighting Line. Over in a flash. Wow, over in a flash. First, oh my, first round. Barely, barely dominant performance by Kendon Smallwood in the grappling exchanges. Opening seconds of the second round, he lands a big overhand shot that puts Tavon Taylor down and out. I believe Tavon was leaving, and as he as left, it hit right on the end of that hook. Devon up and moving, talking with his coach. Looking like he's ready to go for another round. Good to see. The, the referee should not have let him stand up and walk around like that afterward. He almost fell again. So fortunately, he's okay. Dominating performance tonight from Kim Don Smallwood. Coming all the way from Jonesboro, Arkansas to make his Nemesis Fighting Alliance debut. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Dwayne Best calls a stop to the fight in just 54 seconds of the second round, declaring your winner by knockout and new NFA light heavyweight champion, Camden the Recluse Smallwood. Dominant performance tonight by Kim Dunn Smallwood out of Jonesboro, Arkansas, fighting out of the Warriors Gym Academy. Got the takedown, good mount pressure, was patient, found the hand he needed in the second round. Now let's send it to Taylor Scott for our in fight interview. Kendon, you traveled all the way here from Arkansas, and you are NFA's new light heavyweight champion. How are you feeling right now? Fantastic. Like, no complaints, for real. I'm great, I'm good, I'm good. I can keep going. Uh, solid dude. Uh, I expected him to open up with some kicks. We went over that in the camp, uh, but I don't think he's prepared for my peekaboo. He's <laughs> moving my head, so I've never done that in any of my fights. But uh, just one better at a time, making my way to the top. Ready to get back in the gym and keep going. Awesome, Kendon. You definitely put on a show for tonight. You do train with Jordan Fowler, who is a part of our main event. How do you feel that has helped you prepare for tonight? Uh, he's more than prepared. Uh, he can handle my punches. He's, he's more than prepared. I don't think this guy has it. He, he's good. He's like an octopus. He's good. Awesome. Well, congrats on tonight's win. Ladies and gentlemen, Kendon Smallwood.